Uh, hi y'all, good afternoon. Um, I wasn't going to even retain, even make a story about this. I've known about it for a few days, but it just didn't even cross my mind because um, Dallas is such a violent city. This kind of stuff that happened to this young lady, uh, the story I'm about to talk about here on the Neighborhood Talk, it's not a new story in Dallas. Just a few days ago, I made a video talking about a girl who was trafficked and um, they caught it on tape. The man punched her in the face. She fell out. This is over in the suburb of Dallas called Plano. And this woman being, unfortunately, having her life taken away, which is horrific. It's always horrific. It's always bad. But it happens so much in Dallas that it's not even shocking. It's just a normal part of living in Dallas. But um, let me go ahead and get into this story. I'm going I'm to... Let me see what I can play. Okay, let me go ahead and read, read just the opening of it. Trigger warning. Dallas mother of three allegedly shot and killed at a Dallas... Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Allegedly life ended at a Dallas, uh, top, uh, Dallas adult club by one of the security guards, then dragged out of car by another guard who pointed a weapon at her non-living body. Okay, I'm going to read this and then we're, we're going to play the video. Okay, neighbors, this is sad. A Dallas woman was irked outside of a adult club, allegedly by security guards from the club. Shalonda Anderson, rest in peace, Shalonda. And again, I knew about this a few days ago, but unfortunately, this is just normal in Dallas. This is a, Dallas is a bad place. And I'm going to say before I continue, if you're thinking about coming here, don't come here. This is not the place for you. It's, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not. And I don't mean to laugh. I, I, I nervous laugh sometimes. But uh, if, you, if you already have a job and it's set and you're coming, okay, go ahead. But make sure you got your stuff together. And if you're coming to Dallas from a real small town, make sure you've been to Dallas a lot. Because you don't necessarily know what you're getting into coming to this city. But uh, let me go ahead. Shalonda Anderson, 32, mother of three was killed outside of Ecstasy Cabaret in Dallas. The club owner re released a video claiming that Anderson drove into a crowd of people. However, police said she was irked by a security guard who hasn't been charged. Another security guard that was allegedly involved, Sterling Hammond, has been charged with three counts of aggravated assault. Police said he shot into the vehicle Anderson was driving. According to ABC 8, which is you know our local Dallas uh, station, it's actually called WFAA. The affiliate that obtained, I'm sorry, the affiliate. Oh my, y'all, y'all, y'all know I can't read. According to ABC Eight, the affidavit that was obtained says Hammond fired his uh, weapon without justification or defense of other persons. Anderson can be heard saying in the cell phone footage, I didn't get in an altercation with nobody if you listen closely. Hmm, okay, that's going to be evidence later. The family's attorney, Kim T. Cole, the minister, Dominique Anderson, a Alexander, from Next Generation Action Network, says, that's a lot of stuff going on in that one sentence. Anderson and her two friends were ordering food at the bar. When the bartender didn't give them her change back, they say moments after the verbal exchange, someone threw water at the girls. And that's when the security officer asked the three women to leave. She simply walked along trying to find her car, said Cole. Also in the cell phone video, shots can be heard. You can see Anderson is still living during these moments. Then after the security guard pulled her unliving body on the grass, you can see a security guard put a weapon to Anderson's head. God dang! Court documents say Anderson was never a threat. So she's laying there. Okay, I'm going to play it in just a minute, y'all. She's laying there, unliving, and he put the weapon to her head still. What threat? If you have to drag her out and she's not moving. Mm, that's, that's just, that's cruel. That's, that's cruel. Rest in peace to Shalonda. I'm going to say that again. But let me go ahead and play the story. Hold on, yeah. Hold on. I don't know what's going on. About her daughter, Shalom. 
That's my child that I birthed into this world. <laughs> Benita Lofton barely getting the words out as she talked about her daughter, Shalonda Lofton Anderson, known as Lundy. <sighs> The mother of three was shot and killed outside of Ecstasy Cabaret in Dallas early Saturday morning. The club owner released video saying that Lundy drove into a crowd of people. Police said she was killed by a security guard who hasn't been charged. Another security guard, Sterling Hammett, who police say shot into the vehicle, has been charged with three counts of aggravated assault. But court documents we've obtained say, quote, Hammett fired his pistol without justification or defense of other persons. I no observation with nobody. Lundy's attorney says she and her two friends were at the bar ordering food when the bartender didn't give them her change back. Moments after the verbal exchange, someone threw water at the girls, and that's when security officers asked the three women to leave. She simply walked along trying to find her car. Lundy and her friends got into the car, and in the cell phone video released, you can hear the shots being fired. Lundy is clearly still alive during these moments. <laughs> moments later, mm. even after security pulled her lifeless body on the grass, you can see a security officer put a gun mm. to her head. Oh my God. The has been pulled from under us. That's my child that I birthed into this world. Benita Law. That is that very end. I don't know why y'all. She should have. Oh, I want to be careful with what I say right now. I don't know why she drove into that crowd. I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna say that. I don't know why she did that. I don't know. I wasn't in that car with her. Um. The very end, him holding that weapon to her head, while she clearly wasn't a threat, is uh very disturbing. Very disturbing. I don't know why she drove that car into the crowd. I, I, I wasn't in the car, and I just want to be respectful and not comment further as far as that. But, y'all, that's the story. But let me go back. So, again, rest in peace to Shalonda Anderson. Uh, prayers to her family. Um, Dallas is a bad place. Don't come here. And I'm not saying, you know, you should be able to go to a club at night you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what ecstasy cabaret is. That's that's what it, you know the, the topless place. You should be able to have a good time and be able to go home, and make it home. I do not know what happened. All the details. We see film footage of some things, and then as the details come out, we'll under have a bit more understanding about what's going on here. But at the very end, him pulling that weapon on somebody who's clearly not here anymore is that's a level of cruelty i don't know that just kind of struck me but that's it um I, I i don't i can't end this by saying have a good day i'll just end it by saying rest in peace rest in peace shalonda anderson and prayers to her family